Hey guys, VVP Snipes here from Team Epiphany, and this is a tutorial on how to make a really cool box intro in After Effects. And not only is this a really nice and professional looking intro, it is really easy to use for those of you who are new to After Effects. And um, so if any of you guys came from my other channel, which as you can see here, uh, we've used the box intro for a numerous amount of our videos. And I really like it because it's something that you can play around with and really change and shape it um, so it'll best suit your uh, YouTube channel or whatever you, you really want to use it for. So I'm going to go ahead here in After Effects and again I'm going to go a little bit slow for those of you who are new to After Effects and if you are this will be a really easy tutorial because you can follow it step by step and if you already know a lot about After Effects you can also follow along and it's great to you know tweak it and add other stuff that you may know. So of course we're going to want to open up a new composition. I like to do 720 by 480 and I want it about 10 seconds long. So once I have that done, I'm going to want to make a new solid. And I like to have a black background. Um, again guys, this is all personal preference. So you could have a uh, picture or a blue background, really whatever you'd like. So once that's done, I'm going to make a new shape layer. Once I have my shape layer here, I'm going to go up to the rectangle tool. And I'm going to hold down shift and drag until it fills most of my screen, or however big you'd like it. So I think that should be about good for me. And then after that's done, just to make sure it's perfectly centered, you're going to want to cl click down here and go to Title Action Safe. And once you've done that, you can just center it perfectly in the middle here. And there you go. Once that's done, just turn off Title Action Safe. Alright, so now you have your square, and if you like the um, width of it, you can uh, keep it, or you can change it up here. Here's the stroke. Again, you can change the color. Um, this may be turned off for uh, some of you guys who are new to using the uh, tool, um, as well as the fill. You don't really have to worry about that unless you have a, a different colored background. Sorry. And again, I like three pixels. Um, you can make it wider or uh, shorter, or sorry, uh, thinner. You can move it here. Um, actually, I think I'll go with four. Yeah, I think four is good. Okay, that's good. All right, so once that's done, you're going to want to click on your layer, and you're going to want to go up here to Layer, and then go to Pre-Compose, and click OK. And now you have your layer, and it's all ready to be edited. So once you've done that, you're going to want to click on the Pen tool, and basically go around your square. You don't have to be perfectly center, but the better it is, the better result you'll get. And again, it doesn't really matter which way you go around, as long as you just click in the corners and click back to there. And now we've got our square. Now we're going to go Effect, and we're going to go down to Generate Stroke. And once that's done, change this to On Transparent. And as you see here, when you move this around, it's going to start coming around. I don't know if you can really see that there, but the white will come around. And here, if I'll just click on the background, so you can see it's kind of halfway there. You can go back to here. And again, this is the start. So as I move the start up to, let's say, 95%, it comes up here. And if I move it all the way down to zero, it comes all the way around and back to there. Now, it depends on which way you want to do it. You can also use the end which if I start to bring the end down, as you can see there, it'll start to come around from the you know clockwise, and the start will bring it counterclockwise, so it's really just personal preference. I tend to like to um, oh, oops. change the start to 100%, there we go. So I tend to like to uh, do this way and go backwards, so I'd put the end to zero, and once I move it up here, it'll start to go counterclockwise and kind of wrap around it. So before we do any of the animations, I like to kind of get my text and everything in order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new text layer. And again, guys, you can do basically whatever you want, whatever your YouTube channel or team name is. In this case, it's Team Epiphany. So I'm just going to do T-E. And if you like the font, it is Bebas or BB's B Bass. I'm not really sure, but it's B E B A S. You can uh, get that for free online if you just type that in. Um, so once I got here, I got my T E. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so it fills up the whole thing. 
And I actually like to rotate it kind of a little bit of an angle there. Just stick it in the box. Um, you've seen it in some of my other videos. And then I'll just enlarge it slightly bigger than the box. And if I kind of zoom in here, you can see it might just go outside the box just a little bit. So for those of you who are new to After Effects, this isn't too hard to follow along. But once you have it there, um, all you're going to want to do, and again, guys, you don't have to do this. You can have it straight um, to make it a little bit easier. But if you do like to do this, um, all you have to do after that is just go and create a new mask. And basically, um, take the pen tool. Add a couple things here, here, and a couple here, and then you're just going to want to drag the mask kind of following the same path as the white box, so you don't see it outside the box, so it kind of looks inside of it. And it's a little hard to see because the yellow kind of makes it difficult, but... I'm just going to do this quickly, so don't take that much time. All right, and move this one up here. And here. And move this just down there. Okay, so I'll just do that for now. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you're doing your intro, you can take a little bit more time than me, but once that's done, if I click on the black, you can kind of see. Oh, I missed one right here. Let's get that real quick. And just drag that in there to the white. Okay, so now if I click on the black, you can see it's kind of all put in there. Uh, and I like having it like that. It makes it kind of look more part of the box. And uh, for this one, we're going to be having it actually fade in and uh, the box coming around it. So now that we've got our text and uh, this already, we can actually go and do our last piece of text, which is the drop down. And again, we'll be animating all this last. I like to kind of get everything out onto the uh, onto um, the screen before I kind of start animating stuff. So now we're going to just go to do a new text and make this a lot smaller. And I'm just going to do Team Epiphany. Again, whatever you'd like. And you can change the text color. Uh, as you can see here, I have it kind of blue. You can change it to whatever your team or YouTube channel colors are. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'll be showing you guys at the end of this some other cool stuff you can do with particle effects. And so once we have this here, basically we're ready to start animating it. So as you can see here, we have our timeline. And again, I'm going to try and aim this for some of you who may be new to After Effects and others who may already know it. So if you don't really know a lot about timelines and animating, it's really simple. We're just going to click here, and we want, I like, to have it so that it goes counterclockwise. So um, I'm going to start the end at zero. So as you can see, if I click off, it's not there. And I'm going to go back to it. And I'll just put a, click the little stopwatch. And I think maybe about one and a half seconds should be good for it to go all the way to 100%. And it will automatically keyframe that. So now if I go back here, you can see the computer's a little laggy, so you might not be able to see that great. But I'll play it. And you can see it kind of coming around. Now this isn't in real time, so it's a little bit slower than what it really is. So... But I think about one and a half seconds. I think I'm going to move it just a bit and um, maybe make it about two seconds. You can either have a, I know most of our intros are actually pretty fast, but I kind of like a slow, slow down intro. About two seconds. That should be good. All right, so once we have that done, we're going to... So as you can see here, it kind of wraps around. We're going to go to the start. And for this one, I'm just going to do a transparent um, thing with the text. So it just kind of fades in. Uh, again, you can change it. You can uh, do whatever effect you'd like. You can even do a stroke effect with the text. Um, but again, it's all up to you. Just to keep it a little simple, we'll just do a transparent thing here. So I'm going to go down to the opacity and turn it down to zero. 
and then by the time this thing is done we want it to be done a little bit earlier than it so let's say about one second in it's all the way back to 100 percent so now if we'll play it again because i'm recording this it won't be in perfect real time but it should be pretty good so that looks all right maybe a little bit sooner so that's good all right so once that's done we pretty much almost have it ready we're just going to have the final text drop down. So we know at about two seconds, the entire animation is complete. So let's say at about two and a half seconds, we're going to want the drop down to start maybe a little bit over here. So we're just going to go here, and we're simply going to make a new layer. And it's just going to be a solid. And we are going to, oh, whoops. We're going to make a new no, sorry, we're going to make a new um, shape layer and then we're going to make a solid. So once we have this done, put it here. Um, the stroke is white, so I'm just going to turn it black. Put it like this. And we are going to put it underneath everything so you can't see it. And then we're going to put the Team Epiphany underneath that. But just for our animation, we'll keep it up here just so we can see it. So let's just move it above here, so it will be out of sight for the entire uh, length of the animation. And we're just going to go to transform, position, add a point. And I like a quick drop down, so I'm going to say like right about there. It's about good. So once we've done that, just turn the position down to below it, so right about there. So it's hovering right below. Can maybe go a little lower. There we go, that's perfect. And now that we've done that, we'll just pull it below the shape layer. And so as you can see, it'll start above, you can't see anything, and it'll go there. And unfortunately, the white line won't render for me. There we go. So the white line will come around. You know, see if I can play it in real time. So it'll just be kind of something like that. And again, this is super kind of slowed down because I'm recording, but you get the idea. And now once that's done, basically you have your intro, you can stop there, but I always like to add a little bit of like a creative touch to it. So um, one thing you, that you could do uh, is just create an adjustment layer, which I actually was playing around with before I made this video. And I just added a uh, particle world effect. So I just go down to simulate CC particle world. And particle world is basically a tutorial in itself, but just a kind of show you here what to do just turn the um, grid to off and you know you can turn the birth rate up if you'd like um, but I'll just show you here if you go down to your birth uh, so your particle you can change the colors so I'm gonna change the death color so let's say we'll make the death color white and the birth color blue because those are kind of our colors for this intro and once we have that we'll change it to a nice faded sphere and then basically now you can see uh, if I move my cursor you have all these particles moving around so I'm gonna push this down here so we have a little bit more room all right looks pretty good so I'm gonna put it underneath these so you can see kind of behind everything and now I'm just gonna play around with the effects so um, I actually like the size of these make them a little bit bigger so you get a little bit more of a glow to them and I'm going to go down to the physics and I'm going to put the velocity up so you get something like that and then the last thing that you really want to do is go down to the producer and you're going to want to drag him out on your y-axis as or sorry your z-axis as well as your y-axis and your x-axis and again you can kind of do it how you'd like I'm going to turn the birth rate up just a tad there we go so now you kind of got this cool um, particle that's coming in can't even see that, but you got you got your particles coming in. I don't know if I can play it here. And your box comes around. Your text fades in, and then you have your drop down text afterwards, which should come. Oops. Which should come after here. There we go. So. Now you can see here, it all comes around, and then the drop down. And there, that's pretty much an intro. So that's basically a really basic, easy intro. I hope this tutorial has helped. 
Um, I'll be making a couple more tutorials on this channel. Um, we'll be doing, you know, Cinema 4D, After Effects, really whatever. 